Hi guys, Todd here. It's uh, it's blotto time again. So this one was sent on direct by Duffbo and this is the new blotto single coil. Uh, for those of you that remember, we had the, the original blotto, then we had, did they call it the blotto mini, which was basically a smaller version, but uh, it still retained that dual coil deck that the original had. Well, this one, this one has a single coil deck. So inside the box, you're going to get the Blotto. Uh, and yeah, it's just called the Blotto Single Coil. Uh, we've got the usual Bogan logo going on there. We've got the, the bottle cap design that we're used to seeing. Obviously, you can see this on the bottom and up the top here. We have an 810 drip tip with a massive bore on it. I mean, it really is. It's massive. Uh, in fact, and I'll say this just now, for me, this is almost like vaping with an RDA. Uh, it's you can do direct lung you've got adjustable airflow as always down the bottom here you can adjust it like that and um, we'll talk more about the airflow at the end but yes direct lung and you can take it down to a, a a loose restricted direct lung but for me i'm going to it's yeah i'll cover that more at the end Stainless steel, this one, there's, I think there's three other colours available, if I remember right. Uh, the drip tip comes off no problem, held in with an O-ring there. To get in and fill this with juice, it's just uh, off like that. No problems at all. I've had this for seven days now. I've had three builds through it. I've kind of settled on one that suits me, but uh, yeah, filling this with juice, super, super easy. On and yeah, no bother. Taking the deck off, you just unscrew like so. And there we go. The tank, this is a two milliliter capacity and you can pop it off like that. And you can put that on instead because two milliliter capacity with the kind of coils and vaping you'll do with this, it's not gonna last you long. Uh, I think, not 100% sure, I think this is about four, four and a half mil. So just to give you a, a look-see at it with this on, uh, I've actually just cleaned this out, excuse me, so you may see some water, but there you go with the, the extension tank on. Now this is a 23 millimeter in diameter tank, but once you put this on, it, it comes out to about 28 millimeters with this glass tank here. And a thumbs up for both of the tanks being glass. I'm going to go back to the straight glass because bubble tanks offend me. They don't really. Well, they do actually. But anyway, let's not talk about it. I did worry about this when I unboxed this, about the glass being a little bit on the loose side, which it was at first. But as the week has gone on, uh, it, it's now... Yeah, I think these O-rings have just swollen a little bit now and uh, I have no worries about this glass falling off when you unscrew the deck. Just to cover this here again, you can see here from the chimney, I mean, that bore there going through up to the drip tip, it's about eight millimeter in uh, diameter. It, it's bloody massive. I mean, this is not for the gentleman vapor. Don't be offended by that. It's just a little joke, but we'll stick that drip tip back on and have a look at the deck. Um, I should add at this point that you do get uh, spares with this one. There's no cotton or um, what's the little things that go inside. Yes, coils. You don't get any of that stuff. Bottle opener. And uh, don't forget that uh, this little bit here, pop your coil in and cut your legs off here. And that gives you the perfect size for popping your coils in here. Now the short and sweet version is here that uh, they've made it a single coil. That's it in a nutshell. It's still a GTA style deck. Uh, it still looks very similar, but uh, yeah, it's for single coil and uh, it, it's easy enough putting a coil in. It's easy enough to set it up and wick it. I have no issues with that at all. The AFC moves nice and freely. It does lock off. It'll only turn so far. The positive pin protrudes well enough there if you decide you want to use this on a mech. And if you want to take this to bits even further, take the 510 pin out and then you'll see you've got another pin under there again. And then unscrew that one and that releases all of this for you. So there you go, there's there's your deck. So this is how the air is coming through. You see the air's coming through both sides here. So it's going to come up on there, on there, and you've also got it under the coil as well. So I'm just backing off the flathead screws that we have here for the posts. Do the same on the other side. 
for those that are curious, uh, you're looking about six millimeters between the two posts here. But if you go down to, you know, actually in here, it's about seven mil and that's where your coil is going to sit. Now the coil that I've got in there just now, I've just pulsed it, is three millimeter inner diameter. And personally, uh, that's as big as I would go. Uh, it's a fuse Clapton uh, from PC Coils as always, uh, but it just, I tried a 3.5 and I'm sure, you know, some people will run with that and have no issue, but I just found that the airflow wise and flavor, I just found that a three mil, it just allowed the air to move around a lot better. And uh, it, I got better results with it. This will be coming out at about 0 0.36 ohms. Now, as far as the cotton goes, normally I, I, I talk about, you know, cutting up at 45 degree angles and doing all kind of fancy stuff and whatnot. But with this one, yeah, I'm just GTA style deck, Just, I'm just gonna chuck my cotton down through there. It's but as long as you can take your pointy tool and move it about in there, uh, you know, you know that the juice is going to wick well. I tried just putting the cotton to just inside here, uh, but for some reason, every time I put the tank on, it kept moving. So now I kinda make sure that I'm, the cotton's actually going down into the deck now. It kinda helps hold it in place. So I'll primed up and uh, and that's what I've got. Now, obviously, I know a lot of you, you've all had blottos, you all know how it works, so you're probably fine and dandy. The only thing I can say to you on this one is be very, very careful when you're putting your tank back. Make sure the cotton's not catching anywhere because if it does, it will pull that cotton out of the wicking hole. And that's the only way I've been able to get this thing to leak is by just the cotton not being in there securely. It's caught, it's pulled out and, and it's leaked. But that's the only time it's leaked and that was my own fault. So top cap off, get some juice in this. If you find when you're putting your top cap back on uh, that you're getting a little splurge of juice out the bottom, just push it down, turn it upside down and then close it off like that. Make sure that you've then opened up the airflow. It's going to release any pressure and it means that it's not forcing juice down through your wicking holes and out through the air vents. You know what I mean. I should also point out here that we have Zebogan signing off in the bottom on Blotto single coil. So once again, this is a 23 millimeter diameter tank, two mil capacity or go with the bubble and it's about four, 4.5 I think. Uh, I've put it onto the Legacy here just now, and uh, yeah, we'll go for a vape. Apologies if I look like I've been uh, vaping a three milligram nick at silly wattages in a small confined shed. Well, because I have, and my head is bouncing. Um, this little guy here, now, the, yeah, the original Blotto, the, the Blotto Mini, which yeah, it shouldn't have existed in my opinion, uh, and now you've got the single coil. This is, uh, and by, I'll admit, I'm very good at taking tanks and saying that I can get them to vape certain ways that more suit my kind of vaping style. This is, this is just, uh, yeah, this is direct lung. You want lots of power going through this and you get lots of clouds and that's the best way to vape this. Yes, I can get the airflow down to a nice restricted direct lung, but um, that bore, that bore in there just means that it's 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 a waste of time. It, it really is. You're gonna go for this if you want clouds. Why would you go for the single coil? Well, because I know that some people got the Blotto Mini. I mean, I had the Blotto Mini and you could put a single coil in that, but then the airflow, the air holes were further away from the coil in the middle when you went single coil. When you put a single coil in this one, you've got that going around the coil in the middle. So it's more constant, the airflow is more concentrated. Does it make a huge difference in flavor? I'll be honest that the wattages that you're going at here and the power that you're going to put through this, I'm not sure it does. All I can tell you is that I do get good flavor from this when I put the right wattage and the right coil through it. Then it just, yeah, just kicks ass. <laughs> I mean, I'm only at 35 watts, which is quite high for me on a 0 0.36 ohm, uh, fuse clapped in three millimeter inner diameter. Once again, 
I'm not saying you can't go bigger on the diameter of coil, but for me on a, a fused alien whatnot, I think it works the best any bigger and it's just, it's going to restrict the airflow more. So I don't know, but here we go. Yeah, that's, that's, that'll do donkey. Um, it's very good doing what it's supposed to do. It's, it's not a, it's not a mouth lung. It's not a restricted direct lung. You can get it to do restricted direct lung, but it doesn't work well as a restricted direct lung. This is a direct lung tank. Uh, it's 23 millimeters in diameter. You get two mil capacity. You get the bubble tank. Uh, it's the top filling mechanism is really, really smooth. I've no issues with that. The threading on the bottom, it's all good. The AFC moves even when it's screwed down onto a mod, which is another bonus. And it is pretty easy putting a coil in there as well. Obviously you've got to be wrapped the right way. Um, and you don't forget that you've got the gauge on the bottle opener there at the end. You know, that's how long you want the legs to be. Can't really fault it. I'm not sure if, I mean, I don't normally get into this kind of stuff, but I know there'll be loonies out there screaming cash grab and all this kind of stuff, but it works better as a single coil than the Mini did. When you put a single coil in the Mini, it wasn't ideal. This works better with a single coil, and that's it. Thank you to Dovepo for sending this on. Thank you to Sam, wherever you are right now. And to you guys, thank you so, so much for watching. Um, Dovepo contacted me and said, go ahead, record this and put the review out. I've not seen Sam's video, so I'm a bit wary about putting this out before Sam. I don't know what the crack there is, but I just wanted to put a disclaimer in saying that Dovepo said put the video out. So there you go. Uh, but I'll catch you very soon. Bye for now.